Hello everyone, it's Tuesday, November, I don't know, 15th I think. Uh, this month is, again, flying by really quick. I think like the end of the month is like next week or something like that, which is crazy. Anyway, um, this is now I think my 500th video I'm posting on YouTube. So that's a little bit of a milestone, I guess, to bust out 500 videos. I think like a mixture of like shorts when I do live streams, so I don't know, 500 videos is a lot to <laughs> litter on the old YouTube, so anyway, uh, not going to be a very interesting video, it's just me uh, opening up a uh, thing I got from Amazon Studios a little bit ago, but I was uh, a little behind, I mean October was very busy, so this kind of went on the back burner, so I figured <laughs> it's November and I don't really have much to do right now, so it's a perfect time to get into this, and maybe you might have missed out on the... Um, videos that they put up which could be good to check out but uh, i'm gonna open this up and um i did make sure i watched all four films before also doing this box um so that was also you know something i wanted to make sure i busted out <clears throat> so i could actually give an opinion on them rather than just being like oh this movie's maybe about a bingo so let's see here. Yeah, these all debuted uh, October 8th. So I'm a little behind on this, but uh, you know, better late than never. All right, so uh, they, this is a heavy thing too. This is almost look like little books almost. But uh, this is definitely a very cool presentation. I am super thankful that I got this. Uh, basically, it the, the box kind of highlights the four films that Bloomhouse uh, put out. So we have Bingo Hell, uh, The Manor, uh, Black as Night, and Madras. Um, let's see here. Well, let's let's read the little thing on the side here. Welcome to the Blumhouse. Blum, Blum, Bloom, Blum. Anyway, it returns exclusively to Amazon Prime Video with the worldwide release of four electrifying new thrillers that plumb the depths of humanity's deepest and darkest fears. These terrifying, twisted tales pay tribute to the unforgettable genres of classics of 70s, 80s, and 90s, while adding a dose of or provocative contemporary social commentary. The latest batch of spine-tingling titles in the Welcome to the Bloomhouse collection, including the four that I had mentioned, uh, will unsettle, shock, and thrill audiences by exploring institutional horrors and the supernatural, all while continuing to highlight some of the most exciting voices in genre filmmaking. Uh, Welcome to the Bloom House is a celebration of the golden age of horror that will delight viewers with a taste for terror. So, let's uh, see if I can figure out what these uh, all have. Uh, so, here's the Madras one. Uh, this is... let's see here. Nah. All right, I'm putting that one back. Um, I will say the Madras one was kind of a uh, eh for me. Uh, Black is Night. Ooh, that's a heavy one. What does this have? So this has a whole bunch of... Almost looks like uh, dominoes. Let's see what's the objective of the game here. Oh, our dominoes. Yeah, it's a lot of reading, but um, my opinion on Black is Night. 
Um, it started off a little rough for me. It was like, eh, but it got a little bit better. I think one of the, uh, the highlight points for me uh, was Keith David was in this. He uh, did play a vampire. And uh, damn it, my battery is dying right now. Uh, so we're going to pause this really quick. And shame on me for not charging my battery. I'll be right back. All right, it's got some juice. We're going to finish this up. Uh, next is the manor right here. Um, it was decent. Uh, you know, I, I was thinking this one would be the best out of the four, um, but it was it was all right. Uh, looks like this one you just have some uh, your usual little deck of cards. So and that definitely has a lot of rules to it. Just kind of show you here. It's too much reading. If something has too much reading, it usually turns me off. Um, now here we go, Bingo Hell. Um, now <laughs> you would think this would be the dumbest one out of the batch because it's a movie about Bingo, but uh, Richard Brake pretty much made this film what it is, so it was definitely very fun. Didn't feel like a movie so much. Definitely felt kind of more like a, uh, you know, it could have been like a, uh, what is it called? Could have been like an episode of Tales from the Crypt if it was modernized or something like that. In fact, hell, the Creep Show <laughs> maybe could have borrowed from this thing because I heard some of those episodes have been kind of stinking lately. Um, yeah, Bingo Hell, just uh, simple bingo with the pens and all that good stuff in it. Um, we all know how to play bingo. If you don't, got some problems in life, my friend. Um, but again, yeah, this, this was a good, fun film. Uh, just, you know, again... Mostly due to Richard Brake, who uh, just killed it in that film very well. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, a really great, fun set that they put out. It's definitely very beefy and heavy. Uh, yeah, and that's it. I just wanted to kind of show those off and, uh, you know, hopefully I inspire a few of you to go watch it. And if you actually have seen any of these, let me know in the comments what you thought of those films, if you liked them or hated them. Um, I gave my opinions on those, and that's what I felt. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely please hit that, because I am trying to, to climb my way to 3K. So I would love to hit that, which uh, I'm definitely a few hundred away. But you got to keep chipping away at it if you want to get there. So catch you all later.